children. What do the children learn? By seeing us using thank you as an operating principle for exoneration. Happy birthday, son! Do you want to unwrap your gift now? Okay, unwrap. Yes, you like? It's nice. Your shiny new red bicycle didn't always used to be red. It used to be blue once. You see, it was repossessed by your daddy from a victim of a mugging on the bicycle trail. Don't worry. I did not hurt the cyclist. Daddy wore a stocking net. Mom's stockings. Anyway, pushed the cyclist to the ground, put the bike in the trunk, repainted it in the garage, put a new rear brake. It's better. It's spunking new. You like. I can tell you like. It does not look anything like the original. This is better. Upgraded. No one will know. No one will recognize. You are safe. Ride around. Ride around the neighborhood. Freely. Enjoy. 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 Before you ride it though, son, my son, I want you to thank that little girl for what she gave you. Be grateful to her. Yes. Good. Yes, yes, yes. Good. That is good. What are we doing? Let's consider an alternative. Just for fun. Radical, revolutionary, mind-blowing option. Just to consider. How about maybe we reserve the thank yous just for those who are capable of responding with a you are welcome. Or for those who legitimately gave of their own volition something, as opposed to having it pried out of their clenched fist. Otherwise, we might as well start uh, thanking celery. Thank you, celery. We yanked you out of the earth in such a cruel fashion. You are clinging with your root network. And now your roots are... Ah, it's, ah, I cannot even bear to look at your roots. The celery. Ah, I did this to you. Oh, thank you, celery. Thank you. You must have been screaming when pulling out. I should have pulled you out in... But then how would I eat the leaves off of you? Might as well thank the rhubarb, the radishes, the oatmeal cookies. Thank them, too. Why not? So, I hope this answers your question. Nobody said good catch. I will say good catch. So, thank you. Thank you for what? For the question? You see, that works. No, thank you. Thanking me for what? The answer, that works too. And one more thing. Let me say one more thing, specifically to the eating of animals, because I believe that is what the question was. Yes, specifically eating of the animals. I lived, as some of you have heard, at one time I lived with a tribe of cannibals, for a short time, very short. I did not get much sleep. Very little sleep. No sleep. In fact. There. With the cannibals. 
I told them, don't eat me. You will die. You'll see. Don't even think of it. I also said, one night, while sitting around the campfire, roasting berries, they do not roast marshmallows. They had these strange smelling berries. I said, I haven't slept in a week and I am nodding off and I notice the fire is blazing, the cauldron is boiling and bubbling and you've ha you have all had uh, very little meat but I notice that you have been feeding me very well during my stay here which I appreciate I have gratitude for thank you I was thanking them not the food thanking them for sharing their food with me I have only one request in case I fall asleep if supplies run low, I am telling you now, make it quick, make it painless. Don't throw it out, please. Friends, I brought you gifts. We are friends. And if anyone eats me, you don't have to say thank you, just for the record, okay? So you know. Don't feel obliged, compelled to say thank you while eating me. Not necessary. But, on the other hand, I suppose if it makes you feel any better, go ahead and say thank you. Thank you. You know, I won't be around to complain, to, ov to oversee your gratitude. Only one person there, another Western visitor. There were two of us. This Western visitor, she said, she was an anthropologist, studying how they operate, how I interact with them, how they interact with me. I said, I, I said, no need to thank me, and they, uh, she replied, I, Zorba Denguru, will definitely express my gratitude. The Westerner. Only she said that. That person was not given the opportunity to express her gratitude. To say thank you, the thank you. For eating me. She did not get the opportunity for that. To express her gratitude for eating me, she did not get the opportunity. Now, who is grateful? Who is grateful now? Maruta Anandidis, may you lead us to fulfillment. Help us understand your message. Zorpa Venguru.